Now that we've added some buildings starting from SketchUp, here are the orange buildings here shown as new buildings. Let's add some buildings from our prototypical templates. So you open up this column over here. There's a place to add an, a brand new building or you can say let's add a shared building. Shared buildings are buildings that are available from other projects. So we have a project called OKC Prototypical Buildings. Select that and then you select which building type you want. So under G there's prototypical residential mixed use buildings and you see different buildings here that already have uh, spaces populated. Let's add 128 unit building. We're going to add it or link it. We're going to go ahead and add it. Linking is like extracting. Let's just go ahead and add it as a new building. So there's a 128 unit building. Let's also add a 256 unit building. And one last one, a 64 unit building. Let's add a few more smaller buildings as well too, 36 unit. The black buildings in the background are coming from GIS, so let's turn those off. Those are existing buildings. We're proposing a new plan in this area. So there's our two small buildings. There's a medium-sized one, uh, 64 unit, 128 unit, and 256 unit. We can take all of these and actually duplicate and paste them if we want. Hitting the C button copies a building and V pastes it. For larger buildings or multiple buildings it takes a few moments to paste the data again and we can start moving it around now. Let's turn off the background buildings from GIS and we know that there's a park being proposed in this area here so we're going to stay away from this north-south running central park between these two development developed areas. And you can continue to refine the design, uh, the background data. Again, the, the roads can be turned off and you can turn on the, uh, the uh, satellite view and even go back out to Google Earth and even report out where we are if you hit the report button. You can do a building comparison report and it lists all the buildings side by side with uh, projected construction cost, total areas, total energy use, and year by year operations and maintenance costs based on defaults. These can all be adjusted. The assumptions can be adjusted, but these are just working off of the initial assumptions that are preset in this particular scheme. Let's look at it in 3D now. There are the initial buildings that we proposed um, by importing them from uh, Google Earth, I'm sorry, from SketchUp. The red one actually has a construction schedule associated with it, that's why you see the colors changing and the construction sequence being shown as you move the timeline. If we put a date on the other ones, they'll do the same thing. The new ones that we just added are as templates are right here in the foreground as building masses. If we turn on the spaces, we see the slabs first. And then we turn on departments. We see individual uh, spaces coming in as well too. If you turn off the floor slabs, you'll actually see in these uh, templates they actually are broken down per per unit type. Different than these buildings over here that just came in as masses, but they're both relevant as far as pl a planning exercise goes to be able to see, well, here's a mass of uh, buildings proposed in this area, and here's some prototypical buildings proposed uh, to the west.